There's a lot of newer agents in the very advanced stage prostate cancer that have less side effects. Um, Abiraterone is one, enzalutamide, MDV3100 is another. But for really early stage prostate cancer, I mean, it's hormonal therapy given in slightly different ways, at least for the next five years. I don't see any major changes. And it's really understanding those side effects. And it's... um, you know, someone recently explained it's one thing to have a complication. You know, when you do surgery, um, something bad happens. You're doing radical prostatectomy, you injure the rectum. That's a complication. Erectile dysfunction after surgery is an expected consequence. It happens 100% of the time, at least initially, and patients recover. It's not a side effect, it's an expected outcome of your treatment. And that's what we need to understand with ADT there are expected outcomes bone loss increased problems with cholesterol, increased problems with insulin resistance. And not everybody goes on to develop a fracture or diabetes or has a heart attack, but those are things we need to be aware of. These are expected consequences. And, you know, I don't see major changes in, in the drugs in the next five years. And so I think it's we need to be more aware of it. We need to promote exercise and healthy living among our patients to try and reduce some of these expected consequences.